Hey folks, welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. Me, your host, Captain Ron 302. Guess what? This week we got somebody, something for somebody really special in your life. It's Mother's Day and we are gonna cook a Mother's Day meal that is simple and is sure to blow mom away. So let me tell you what we're gonna do and let's get started. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. You might think we're making chickens, right? Well, sort of, kind of, but they're these little tiny little chickens. They're called Cornish Game Hens. That's right, Cornish Game Hens. You can find them in your grocery store. They come frozen, they come fresh. These were fresh, of course, so it's from mom. We gotta make it special, right? So we're gonna take these, we're gonna put a beautiful layer of vegetables down in our ceramic, uh, ceramic clay pot here. We're gonna line it with all the vegetables on the bottom, some broth, some wine. We're gonna season it up and let it all bake all in one pot, nice and simple and tasty. Something mom is sure to love. The first step of our process here is we wanna get crispy skin. So two things, we're gonna cook it at a high temperature, like 400, 450 degrees. Second thing, we want to completely dry it off. Blot it as dry as you can. We want crispy skin. The enemy of crispiness is moisture. So we're going to dry it off as best we can. We're going to spray it down with duck fat spray and season it with some salt, pepper, garlic, you name it. We're going to put some good stuff on here. Now, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set these to the side, let them sit for a little while, and we're going to prepare our vegetables. We're going to put a layer of vegetables down in the bottom here. We're going to use some butternut squash, got some red potatoes here, some shallot and some onion. It's gonna be nice down there. We're gonna add that. We're gonna make a little broth gravy for the end of it. Mwah, gonna be so good. Mom is really gonna be impressed. We got all our beautiful vegetables in that pot. So our last step here is to tuck these wings. So what you do is you kind of turn them and you tuck those wing tips up underneath the bird itself like that. And then, whoop, like that. And then we place it right on top of our veggies. We're going right on the veggies with this thing. And again, we're gonna tuck, tuck those wing tips and take it and set it right next to the other one, right on top of all those vegetables. Woo, now what's gonna happen is as this cooks, all these wonderful juices from these Cornish game hens, gonna drop down into the vegetables, gonna make a beautiful, beautiful flavored vegetable. We're also gonna have a nice juice to pour over the top of the chicken when it's done. So the green egg is already heated to 450 degrees. So we're gonna put these babies on and we're gonna get ready to start getting ready to feed mom. We are all set to go on the grill now, but one thing I wanna cover before, you may remember this pot from when I made the mac and cheese. If you didn't watch that video, you need to check it out. But this thing is great. What it is, it's clay, and then it's got an enamel coating over it. It's made to go on the barbecue grill. This thing works incredible. It inducts heat and it holds heat really well. So let's open her up. We're at 450 degrees. Stick that right in the center. We're cooking indirect, which means no direct heat, no flames directly underneath it. So we got the convector in there, the deflector. So we're gonna let that go. This is only gonna take 45 minutes to an hour. We're at 450 degrees, like I just said 12 times, but it's gonna make for a nice, crisp skin. Hopefully, anyway. Later that same evening. More moments later. All right, boys and girls out there in Big Green Egg Fogo Land. Our Cornish game hens are done. They're at 165 degrees. Ooh, and don't they look beautiful. I'm gonna take these right off, set them up here. Okay, that pan is nice and hot. These beautiful black leather gloves work really well. Check them out, there's a link down below in the description. Anyway, let's let these cool off for a second. We're gonna get these plated up. We're gonna taste some delicious Mother's Day meals. So we gotta warm up our tongs. They work. So we're gonna take our little Gornish game hens here, our little chickens, little burgers. Just gonna stick them on our plate. Okay, beautiful. There's one. And there's two. Okay, let's grab our onions first. And we've got pretty much everything out of here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna crank those vents open and let this re really come to a boil and reduce quite a bit. So, let me open up that vent. Increase the heat and let it bubble away and let it kind of simmer and we're gonna cook a lot of the juices out of it. It's gonna thicken a bit. It's gonna be a mwah, delicious little juice to put on top of this chicken. Now that is one beautiful Mother's Day plate. And I gotta tell you, it is gorgeous. See the way that the skin got the beautiful golden brown, nice and crispiness to it? That's what we were going for. That's why we cooked it at a little bit higher temperature. Um, the, the gravy, we actually still have it reducing on there, but I can't wait any longer. I need to try myself a little bite of this. So let's see what we've got. Whoops. Oh yeah. It tastes a lot like chicken. It's a smaller chicken. I think the flavor is just more condensed in there and it's really super tasty. 
Um, the other thing, we cooked all our vegetables right in the same pot there. You can see the butter squ butternut squash, super, super soft. Same thing with the potatoes, really soft, all ready to go. Everything cooked in one pot. How much easier to get, does it get than that? Not only that, when you serve this up and you pour that beautiful gravy over there, the juices, the wine and broth gravy, it's got tons of flavor. It's really, really super good. I think that your mom is gonna really enjoy it. The nice part too, the meat is crazy tender. It's more tender than a mother's love. Ah, anyway, listen, this is our Mother's Day video. I hope that you are gonna have a great Mother's Day. Give some big love to your mom, all right? It's a great day to celebrate her. Hey, if it wasn't for her, none of us would be here, right? So make sure you show some appreciation. Make sure you give us a thumbs up on the video. Subscribe and like, and let us know what are you making for Mother's Day? I'd love to know if you made this. Anyway, listen, I hope that you all have a great Mother's Day. Remember to get out and grill, and I'll see you next time on The Fogo Life.